Got the soda. Here's my review on vegan pizza. Um, kind of two things about Project Pie. When you go in there, they have the meats, and then they have the kind of a, a limited supply of veggies. You know, Subway has more veggies than Project Pie. But uh, one thing to be cautious of is the cross-contamination with the cheese and some of the veggies that they have there. So just be a little cautious of that. Make sure to let them know that you're just, you're allergic to cheese and milk so they can, you know, use separate gloves and use the gluten-free crust because that is vegan. There's no eggs or milk. So looks pretty good, right? This is it. This is just, I pretty much added every, um, every uh, topping there was that was vegetables. I should have added, I should have told the lady to add more lettuce, but they said there was no, they just had basil. I should have said, hey, can you add some of the lettuce that you have for salads? Lady did not offer that, so, because I didn't know. But anyways, till I'm gonna take a bite out of this. This looks pretty good. Um, I'm doing my inspection. If there's any cheese, I know there's you know some some vegans. They can go a little. They can get really anal about some of the pizza here, but uh, this looks pretty good. So check it out. Take a bite out of it. Pretty good. I wish they just had more veggies. I think I believe Project Pot is only located in Southern California, and there's only three locations here in San Diego. I'm not sure if it's worldwide or what, but you can see. A lot more animal products than uh, than veggies, or is it kind of split? Spinach? I didn't see no spinach. What? There was no spinach at that location. Wow. So far, the crust is really, really crunchy. And there's a little ant right there coming up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sending the message. So, pretty good, word of caution. It's easy going vegan, but you just have to be careful when you go to the places where they serve meat. So, all right, until next time, see ya.